almost died. And when I say I almost died, I almost died because I don't have health insurance. Do you understand how fucked up it is? Like, I'm in a profession that does not provide that does not provide health care. Like, I had the flu probably much longer than I was supposed to have it. Whereas if I had health insurance, I could have gone to the doctor and the doctor would have said, hey, take this, you won't be sick as long as people who don't have health care. But because I don't have health care, I had it for fucking almost two weeks. I had the stomach flu, then I had a sinus infection, then I had the flu. And it would have been, I spent so much money on medicine that, here's how fucked up it is. I spent so much money on medicine that all the money I spent on medicine would have paid for a visit to the doctor. But if I had gone to the doctor, I wouldn't have money to buy the medicine that the doctor was going to fucking tell me to buy in the first fucking place. Do you see this shit I'm talking about? If I had gone to the doctor, I wouldn't be able to afford the medicine the doctor was going to subscribe to me. Prescribe to me. But because I didn't have money to go see a doctor, I went out and bought a whole bunch of medicine. And I bought so much fucking medicine that I probably could afford to go see a doctor. But it would have been cheaper had I just went out and bought a gun and blew my fucking brains out and killed myself. Because I don't make enough money. People are like, you make enough money, you should be able to go to the doctor. But no, I don't. I make enough money to not be homeless. I don't make enough money to take care of my health. My health is not even secondary in my life. It's like number five or six on the totem pole of things to care about. Because I have to pay rent or I'll be homeless. I had to pay child support or I'll be in jail. I had to pay my I had to pay my cell phone so I can call people to tell them I don't have money to pay you the money that I owe you. I gotta pay pay my light bill so I don't sit in the dark and try to call people to tell them I don't have the money to pay them in the dark. I gotta eat. I don't even, I don't even eat regularly. Like I eat like I'll buy food and not eat it just so I'll be able to have food later on to not eat because I'm scared if I eat now then I won't have anything to eat later. Does that make sense? You know how much food is going to spoil in my fucking refrigerator? Like food goes bad in my refrigerator because I'm trying to hold on to it and not eat it so I can have it for later. But when later comes, it's already spoiled. And I feel like shit because I want to go to the doctor. And people are like, why don't you go to urgent care? Because if I go to urgent care, then my bank account will fall into urgent care. Because I had to make a choice. Do I want to do I want to be healthy and homeless? Or do I want to have a home and be unhealthy? That's my decision. I have to decide. Do I want to be unhealthy and have a home to live in and be unhealthy in where nobody can see me being sick and fucking dying? Or do I take care of my health and be homeless and be on the street and like a healthy homeless person and then now I'm healthy and homeless and nobody wants to give me money because they don't believe I'm homeless because it's like there's nowhere in the world you're fucking homeless and you look that fucking healthy. Do you see the conundrum that this shit is? It's like if I'm, I'm, I'm scared to get anything else other than what I got. Like if I got cancer, if the doctor said, Maranzio, you have cancer. I'll be like, just, can, you, can you give me a suicide pill, cyanide, or something? Like, cause I'm gonna walk out of the fucking hospital or the doctor's office and go sit in the woods and just wait for death to come because I can't afford chemo. And I don't want to be one of those fucking comics that people hold a benefit for. All comics come together, laughs for cancer, to raise money for me so I don't die. Then they raise money for me. Then I get a cure for cancer. Now I'm back to square one again because now I'm cancer free. I'm still doing comedy, but I can't afford to go to the doctor and I want to die again. Uh, a month ago, I had the flu. 
for three weeks. God, it was so rough. I, it's, but everybody was like, go to the doctor. I was like, I just don't have the money right now to go. Because comics, we don't have insurance and stuff like that. We just, <laughs> we laugh it all the way. And <laughs> everybody was like, go to the doctor. I was like, I don't have money for the doctor. They were like, well, just, you know, you got to do something. I was like, I have to make a decision. Do I pay my rent or go to the doctor? And I would much rather be, uh, uh, you know, have a home and, and, and be unhealthy than be healthy and homeless. Like, I just don't. <laughs> it's rare that people give homeless people that look healthy money. They're like, hey, can I get some money? Like, you look fine. I, I know what you think. I just got homeless yesterday. I just, I had the flu. And, uh, <laughs> scared to go to the doctor, because I wanted to go, but it was like, I would have enough money to go to the doctor and that would be it, like, because he would subscribe, prescribe some medicine or something, and I wouldn't have the money for it. I would just have an autograph that says I went to go see the doctor. <laughs> and it's bad. You know why I feel bad? It's like it's not like the month the, the 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 medicine does not exist. It's not the 1600s where the medicine don't exist, and I get sick, and they be like, "What's wrong with him? I don't know. Set him on fire." Like that's what they did <laughs> in the 1600s. Like the month the medicine exists. I just don't have the money to get it. And it's like, I really don't want to go to the doctor because I haven't been in a while and I'm scared the doctor may tell me something that's worse than the flu. Like, you know, he may say, hey, you got cancer. I'm like, oh, that's just great. Thanks. <laughs> and then I would just walk out of the doctor's office and the lady at the front desk would be like, do you want your valid, you know, your parking validate? I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna just go in the woods and wait to die <laughs> because I can't afford nothing else now. And just my luck, I'll have some comics that will come together and try to raise money for me. But it'll be like a small amount of comics, and it'll be very dysfunctional. They'll probably raise something like $2,000, which is, which is just enough money for the doctor to walk into the room and be like, yep, that nigga got cancer. And then like walk out. <laughs> That's all the money he had. It ran out when I walked in, so. <laughs> Discharge him, get him out of there. <laughs> Does that make sense? Does any of that make sense? Like, I can't afford to die, but I can't afford to live. <laughs>